Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today we're going to dive into something really unique. That is the V-Light, the S03, the pocketable LED light. The simplicity is ridiculously simple because there's only one button. There's only one power on off button. How does the V-Light engineer manage to pack all these features inside such little form factor? Only a single button on the top. How did they pack jam all these features in the design? So the, the CCT mode, the RGB mode, the color picker, the light effects. So how can you, how to make the most of the light? That is what I want to share with you in this video. So coming next, I would like to divide this video into three sections. In section one, I'm going to cover some basic unboxing, then mainly focus on the interesting, unique, the industrial design of this V-Line S03. While in the second part of the video, I'm going to share with you the biggest update of the brand v light actually the, with the introducing of the v light Pro app. This is a magical app that makes this design possible with a single button, but with the app, you can unlock all these features. But the key idea about this video is actually in the section three, where I'm going to show you how to multi-control multiple v light S03 lights in a group in very different channel with a single cell phone that's running the V-Line Pro app 2.0. This is a brand new design and I think the software is actually the biggest improvement of this brand that finally make this interesting tiny little pocketable RGB light happen in the year 2021. So if you are quite familiar with the RGB light, I think you can directly jump into section two. And if you are techy, hardcore guys, you can directly jump into the section three where you will learn everything that is advanced mode. Okay, now let's get started and go straight for them. So considering the price point of the Wii S Series 3, I highly recommend you can purchase multiple units to unlock all the features. And this is a package of these four, four different colors. Very tiny little box. While inside the box, we will get this USB-C charging cable and this a coat shoe mount adapter because with the design it has a quarter mount on the bottom, the type C port on the side, and a part on the button on the top, and with the user menu on the top, the sticker, remove the sticker, and the soft box. Behind the soft box is all the LED light panel where you get the 20 LED lights, the 20 white LED light, and the 20 yellow LED light. All together you have 60 LED lights. It made of plastic but it built with high quality. For the Wii S03, you do have four different choices, the four different colors. One of them is a bright yellow, the other one snow white, glaze blue, and minimalist gray. So all of them is quite beautiful design, and here you can see all of them arranged on my table. But before we get started, just want to give you close-up shots because this is a key idea about user menu, where the wheel engineer share with you the different connection method. So number one is to open the light and then connect with the app where you can control with a, a single light. And the second one is the best part of the light is uh, open the app first, select the channel and the group, and then open this light. So this light will automatically pair with that specific, which will make multi-remote control possible. So we, if you only have a single unit, you just turn on this, this light. So by default, if we enter into this CTT mode with appropriate around 5,500K. And next one, you open this We Light Pro app on your phone. It is a brand new, the 2.0 version. That is the biggest update of this brand. Turn on the light first and the app later, this one will be set into the group A and the channel A, channel one by default. And we, the first time you get connected with the unit, it will be reset to its previous working mode, which is HSL mode in my studio. So you can turn it on or off, or you can turn on or off all units in different groups and channels. So this is a multi-control command, and this is a single control command. And for the CCT mode, uh, all you can turn down all the way to 2500K, all the way up to 8500K. And you can also add some more uh, magenta shift or this gray shift to pair with the every light from different brands. And you can also control the brightness from 100% all the way down to 0%, which is turned off immediately. Okay, and there's also some presets, 3000K all up to the 7000K with beautiful layout design icon. 
is a very good demonstration. It is, and you can also set this your parameters into a preset and save. So next time you can directly go into this preset and we automatically set all these parameters. It's quite convenient. Tap this button and go to the edge SL mode where we can pick uh, any one of the color in this color wheel and you can also control the saturation, luminous, and the hue. My, if you rotate in this uh, color wheel around these edges where well, you have 100% saturation. So it's quite easy to understand. You also have this RGB value, which is laid out in a hex format. The next one is RGBWY mode. You regain the control for all the 60 area lines inside this LED panel. We already can see. And it's also a great idea to learn the color signs because you can control the individual values if you see that and you can blend all this color to get some very unique color. For example, we get R and G, to mix them up, we got yellow. And if you add a little bit more white, we can lower down the saturation and add a little bit more brightness. So we got uh, a really flexible control at a maximum output power because all the LED lines are working for you. The next one is this uh, XY coordinate. And this is a triangle, it's actually this sRGB triangle. So for most of the uh, display or the paper, uh, better uh, shot them within the sRGB color space to get the best uh, color reproduction in post. And for this wider range, this is actually the color range the human eye could perceive uh, biologically. And it can control the coordinate with x and y value, at the same time control this brightness. So it's also a great way to learn color science from the X, Y coordinate. And the color chip is a really unique design. Now with the 2.0 version, the V-Line engineer has implemented the Roscoe and the Lee the color checker. Select different color and it would automatically match with the color in the Roscoe or Lee, this color checker. And you can also turn off the color only remain the brightness. The next one is the light effects. Now you got into two different kinds, the CCT and the RGB. For the CCT, you only got uh, the white and yellow, but for RGB, you gain more control. And you got multiple effects. And I, I believe with a future firmware upgrade with the app update, they will add even more the presets, the, the light effects for you. You can also control the speed in, in three different sections, one, two, three. The higher, the faster. You see that. And, la and this one is a color picker. So color picker will pick up your camera and uh, automatically pick up the color in the center of your frame and they the pick up. And this light will automatically uh, coordinate with a pickup color in the middle of your range finder. Do you see that? Let's take a look at another one. Did you see that? So this works tremendously great. And this is another great feature. And in any sense, I have also added some presets so you can uh, quickly switch in between the different presets and get what you want from this light. This is very uh, fast and efficient. So this is how you can control a single light with the help of the, the V-Light Pro app. Judging from the previous part, you have a basic understand of this brand new layout to design the V-Light Pro app and every one of the working mode the packed inside this box. So I think you cannot use the VLight S03 without this app. And by utilizing the most of the VLight Pro app, this light has never been so powerful and with that ridiculously simple design. Coming next, let's talk about the multi-control. And that is the best part of the product and that is the key idea why the engineer has manufactured this colorful LED lights for the YouTube content creators. So in the section three, you're gonna share with you some advanced tutorials on the multiple control on the VLine S03. Here I will take all of the four lights in different colors into different channel, different group. To multi-control all the lights is quite tricky because by default, when you turn on all the lights, all the light will be gathered into the same group and channel. So to put all of the light into different group and channel, this is where you have to open up this VLight app first and uh, later open this light one by one, not all of them. And uh, before we get started, 
uh, remember to select some specific group and channel. For example, now I'm in the group B and channel one. And this time I will open this glazed blue unit, open it up. And now this unit will automatically pair into this group B and channel one. Did you see that? And later I will turn it off. I would like to select into the group D and channel one and open up this one. And now this light has been set into group D and channel one. Check it out. And this one is group B and channel one. We select the other side. It was the same trick. We can pair into this unit as into the, the channel E, the group, chan it's a group E and channel one. Went up. And this one, I'd like to set into the group F and channel one. Boom. So now I have paired all the four lights in different group, so I can control all of them in different group and channels. Because you have to open the app first and later open up this light individually. Negotiating handshaking with the unit, you can set all the unit in different different group and channels. That is the most tricky part for this VLight S03. For example, I won't select into B with my preset. This is quite convenient because if you do want to have different control. You can select some presets. Uh, this one, like this was this, this preset, and uh, and the group D, uh, we select into the CCT mode with the lower brightness, and uh, this group F, channel one, into some HSL mode, and you can also multi power on or off at the same time by tapping this button. This is a very clever use case for the Bluetooth broadcaster protocol. We can open all of them, turn them on or off at the same time. So the, the trickiest part is how to pair each unit with your app. And later, if you ever get master all of them in different groups and channels, you get the precise control on each of the unit. If you do have less than six units like me, uh, I highly recommend you select all of them into channel one, but in different group. So they can gain the control by the, the symbol tap on this layout to gain the control of every unit. This is a very fast and it's responsive. But if you want to switch back to the channel, things can be a little bit more complicated. So some more tips and tricks for you that is if you manually turn it off and turn it back on again, it will be set to the constant color temperature mode with around 5200 K. So if you only have a if you have multiple lights but without the app, they all work as a group A in channel one with a constant color temperature. So this is really a pity because it cannot be reset to its previous mode without the app. Yeah, I do hope that the VLight engineer could release another future firmware. You know, with the VLight light products, you can always upgrade the firmware with this USB type C port. And that is how you can multi-connect, multi-control a different unit with the help of the VLight Pro. App 2.0. I hope you can learn something from this video and master the Vila S03 from zero to hero because I have shared everything I have learned from the Vila S03 and the section one, two, three. Definitely a good design. And at the same time, the price point is quite reasonable for a wide range of customers. And if you found this video helpful, definitely don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So stay safe until next time. Bye.